if you follow us on Instagram, you probably um, remember that I talked about this 23andMe DNA. I got the Health Plus Ancestry Kit on Amazon Prime Day. And I'm just about to open it and go through it. I haven't looked at it. And um, just wanted to kind of take you guys through the process in case you were curious about this. Um, I fully paid for this. I mean, it was on made or so on Amazon Prime Day, but this isn't gifted or anything. So um, let's open it up. Okay, so you open up the box. It looks like you ship it back in this because there's a prepaid label on the back. So there's a little note that says, let's get started probably some instructions and then here is the kit inside this I believe you do your like saliva so it's not like a blood one but um, let's read through this what does this say I think you have to register it online so I need to grab my computer so that I can do that and then See, there's instructions here. Um, oh, it says no food or drink for 30 minutes before. So I just had some chocolate covered coffee beans. <laughs> so I need to wait, I guess, um, a little bit to finish this. Um, you spit in the tube to fill the line. Um, so the tube is in here. Close the funnel. Um, seal it in the bag and then mail it in the kit. Well, that sounds easy enough. So, um, I'm going to get my computer and register this and then um, I'm going to have to wait 30 minutes to um, actually do it. So, hold on. Grab my computer. Um, I set a timer on my watch for 30 minutes because I can't quite remember when it was I um, had those so just to be safe I'm starting at 30 minutes now and then I need to register this so it says just go to 23andme.com slash start so let's do that okay so it's just simple web page comes up asking for your name your email to create a password your date of birth to create an account pretty simple creating my account it sent me an email to verify my email address so I'm logging into my email right now I see the email so I'm gonna hit verify okay and then a page comes up and it asks to enter your barcode from your tube so that is this so there's a barcode no, this is gonna focus but there's a barcode down here on the tube so I'm gonna enter that it's a 14 digit code it says okay I'm also going to write my code down on this card here as it instructs just so I have it somewhere in writing there's a lot of legal information about the information that they're gathering you have to give consent obviously they're going to have your you know DNA and stuff so that's part of this so it's just taking you through what you're agreeing to okay my kid has officially been registered so next steps is to provide your sample so I will do that in 23 minutes and 50 seconds <laughs> um, in the meantime it says I can complete my profile so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that while I'm waiting um, okay so the first option is to choose your health reports because remember this is the ancestry plus um, health kit so there's some like health information that they can provide do you want to receive that so there's multiple things that it tests for and you can decide if you want the results to those or not so like for example on this first page um, it can provide reports for I think it's your likelihood based on your DNA to get late onset Alzheimer's disease Parkinson's disease 
Um, it tests for the BRCA1 and 2 genes, it looks like. And then, um, I'm not sure what this is, but it's M-U-T-Y-H, Associated Polypsis Report? Polypsis Report? Let me see. Oh, okay, that is one of the three main hereditary um, uh, colon cancer syndromes. And I mean, I'm fine being open with my health, health results. I've been very open with health issues in the past, so I'm more curious. Um, and I, I want to know all of these things, so I'm going to say yes to all. So now it's asking just for some um, personal information and ethnicity. Eth ethnicity <laughs> things of that nature so it's asking about like questions that i know about my ethnicity because i mentioned this on instagram uh, our parents have done i think they did it through ancestry.com but they did that dna test and they're very big into our family history so i actually have a very good idea about my um, ancestors and ethnicities based on their research and then their DNA test results. So I'm less interested in um, learning those results because while I understand percentages and things will be a little bit different, there's not really going to be a surprise um, for me. I know generally what my ancestry makeup is. So um, I'm just going through and I'm answering these questions. Um, I'm a little bit Irish on my dad's side, so I'm entering that. Um, I am um, a large percent Czechoslovakian or Czech because my mom's family is all 100% Czech. My mom is 100% Czech. Obviously, I'm not 100% Czech because my dad isn't, but um, a large percentage of me is, so that is the answer to that one. Um, I'm also a little German, I think, on my dad's side. Okay, that step is complete. It says go to last step. The last step is to complete a health survey. So it says this takes 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm not going to talk you guys um, through this, but let me just show you. Okay, so here is what the page looks like. Um, this is the first part of the health survey. So it just asks, what would your, what is your general health? And it gives you these options. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to take this test. And then by that point, hopefully, I will be able to do this. So I made my way through the survey. The questions are actually quite extensive. Um, you can provide as much or as little information as you want. I think the whole question thing is optional, to be honest. There's an option to skip all of the questions. Uh, I mean, like each question, you can skip it if you don't want to answer it. Um, so I went through and answered a bunch of stuff. Um, I mean, it's up to you how detailed you want to be, I guess. Um, some of the questions are very specific about like even providing like your most recent um, like blood levels, like cholesterol levels and stuff. So if you want to provide that information, just be aware um, that you might want to have that on hand or easily accessible if you want to provide it. Um, also, if you have a good knowledge, working knowledge of your family history, there's lots of questions about like, have you experienced this? Has your parents experienced this? Siblings experienced this? Um, grandparents experienced this? Th those kinds of things. So again, if you want to provide a detailed history, um, just be aware. You might want to include that uh, or have a working knowledge handy of that information. So now I'm going to do the test. I'm not actually going to film it because I'm going to have to spit into this tube and I will spare you guys watching me do that. But here is the kit. So here's the instructions and then here is the kit. I have to spit into this tube, which is gross, but um, <laughs> that's what I got to do. And then put it in this bag and then um, put it back in this box and send it off in the mail. So today is July 22nd. It's nighttime now, so I will probably drop this off at um, the post office or wherever it needs to be sent. Yes, the post office tomorrow, the 23rd. 
so we'll see how long it um, takes to get my results back but I am pumped so it is now Jul no, Jul no, it's not July, <laughs> August 3rd, and I just a few minutes ago got an email from 23andMe that my DNA and health results were in. So we're actually like furiously trying to pack to leave because we leave for Jamaica so to tomorrow. We really don't have time to film this, mm -hmm. but um, I was like, I cannot wait <laughs> until we get back from Jamaica to know what this says. And just so full disclosure, in. I just worked out, have not showered yet, did not want to film this video <laughs> because I am a mess. Thank goodness I curled my hair yesterday. That's the only reason why I agreed to this because my hair looks semi-okay. I thought Poppy was gonna lay on my lap on that pillow, but she elected to go that way. So we thought, I don't think I said this in part one, but I sent it off and then um, it, we thought it would be fun if I didn't look at my results and Shelby looked at them and just like read them to me or made me have to guess things. Mm -hmm. I thought that might be fun for you guys. So, um, I sent it off and I've been getting email updates like when they received it, that they're processing it. So then today is when I got the email and I forget what day I said the date in the first one. So however many days that was, mm -hmm. it honestly didn't take that long. It, my targeted date was August 16th, which mm -hmm. is obviously way before that. So um, it looked like from the email there were two parts to click on. Yeah, there's Ancestry and Health. I clicked on Ancestry first. Um, we're going to go through this kind of quickly because we don't have a lot of time. 99.5% European. I could have told you that. <laughs> um, let's see, 56.5% Northwestern European. So that's mom's side. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, Northwestern. No, that's dad. So you have more dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's, okay, so that's British and Irish is 20.4%. Mm -hmm. Cool. Interesting. Galway. We need to tell Dad mm -hmm. that because, see, this might help them. And this is Greater London, Galway, Ireland. London, no wonder I always fall apart. Manchester, West Midlands, Glasgow, Derbyshire, West Yorkshire, Somerset, York. Lots of England. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, you have way more dad in you than mom. That's interesting. It would be interesting to see because I always thought I have more dad. So that I need to do this. So then, eighteen percent French and German, which we know dad's German as well on his mother's side. Um, point eight percent Scandinavian, which we learned from his test. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, he didn't know he was going to mm -hmm. Then 17.3% broadly Northwestern European, so that could be anything over there. So then 30.4% Eastern European, Prague, Czech Republic. <laughs> Obviously. <Yeah. laughs> Poland. That's the one thing we were very, very sorry yeah. about. Oh my god, see, we learned this too, that's so funny. Um, yeah, Czech Republic, Poland, which is also possible because the borders were fluid. Then just Southern European, which 5.3% Southern European, which includes Italian. Mm. Then 0.2% Ashkenazi Jew, which we learned from dads, which is very weird because no one had no any idea. idea about that. Um, so that's interesting. It's a very small amount. Very. <laughs> that's why nobody knew. <laughs> Um, and then 7.1% broadly European. You go more towards dad. I'm not surprised by that to be honest because yeah. like his and my baby pictures are yeah. very similar. What do you think where mine would go? I feel like Ethan think, goes mom, 100%. You're a pretty good mix, but you might lean a little bit more mm -hmm. heavy towards dad. dad yeah. Ethan's definitely more the mm -hmm. Czech Republic, um, Eastern, Eastern European, European for yeah. sure. Less likely to be a deep sleeper. Correct. Likely more than average movement in your sleep. Yep. I know that because I've been wearing my Apple Watch at night while I'm sleeping since I got my new one for my birthday and I move a lot. Wake up time. Likely to wake up around 8.07 a.m. That's so oh, accurate. Exact. I had to change the battery and gain to Bobby. All right. Next one is food and weight. <laughs> God. <laughs> Predisposed to weigh less than average. I hope that's me too. <laughs> Lactose intolerance, likely tolerant. Uh-huh. 
saturated fat and weight, I don't know what that means, likely similar weight. What is, what is, I don't know. Okay. Bitter taste, likely can't taste. See, I want to know that one about me. Cilantro taste aversion, slightly mm -hmm. higher odds of disliking cilantro? Hmm, I don't agree with that. Because cilantro is one of those yeah. things that I think people say, sorry, am I, I'm flashing you guys. Sorry, apologies. Um, cilantro is one of those things that people say like tastes like soap to a lot well, of people. I don't, I don't, I don't think so either. I love sweet I love versus salt. Do you likely prefer salty? Yep, that's true. Mine would be like the complete opposite for all of these things. <laughs> it's so funny. So alcohol flush reaction says you're unlikely to flush. Like I think like overheated or you oh. know like how I always say I always get hot when I drink alcohol. Yeah, I feel like mine would be. But see, I wonder if that's possible because we share like the same DNA. I mean, everybody's different. Yeah. I'm not sure the exact same yeah. DNA. <laughs> Caffe Similar DNA. Caffeine consumption. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to say a lot. Likely to consume more. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> Muscle composition is common Flabby. in elite power athletes. What? But I don't understand. Did you say you were an elite power athlete? No. Because that's wrong. No, it's comparing. <laughs> no, it's comparing my DNA to the muscle comp composition of elite power athletes. I guess it says that it's the same. It doesn't. I don't get it. Your genetic muscle composition is common in. I guess your muscle consumption is common in elite power athletes. So I guess it's saying you could be one if you tried hard enough. Okay. Olympics 2020. Here I come. Ability to match musical pitch. To match it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't have perfect pitch. Is that what it's asking? No. To match? I would say yes. It says about a 50-50 chance. Yes. Asparagus odor detection. You think you can smell it or you can't? It might pee. I don't know. I think that's what they say, right? You can smell it in your pee. Um, I, I don't think that I can smell it. It says likely can. Likely can smell it in my pee. Interesting. I mean, I, I don't often smell my pee after I, you know, pee. Mm -hmm. Bunions. What about bunions? Is you're less likely than average to have had a bunion. No. Yeah. No. Nope. Never have. Cheek dimples. Nope. No dimples. Yep. Likely no dimples. Cleft chin. No. Yeah, likely no. Um, dandruff? No. Nope. Yep, correct. Correct, I have dandruff? No, oh. less likely yeah. to get. Never have had dandruff. Earlobe type. Huh. There, it says it, likely detached, but no, I don't think yours are detached. Mine are, though, I think. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Compared to yours? Yeah. Earwax type, that's gross. There's multiple types. Yes. This is likely dry earwax. Eye color. It says blue. likely blue or green. <laughs> yeah, blue. Fear of heights. That's less likely than average to be afraid of heights. Yeah, true. I need to do this. Mm -hmm. This is so funny. Fear of public speaking. No. Yep, correct. Less likely. Finger length ratio. Give me your hand. Huh. It says likely ring finger is longer. Yep. That's true. It is. It's not longer Long, than... Well, longer than what? Longer than just, index finger? Oh, I don't know. It just says likely ring finger longer. I think it means longer than the um, index finger, which is, yes, my ring oh, finger. Oh, yeah. Longer ring fingers and index fingers. Yeah. Interesting. Just, just slightly. Well, actually, more on my right hand. Huh. On this hand, my ring finger is longer on... Is this fascinating to you guys? Because I feel like you guys are probably bored out of your mind, but it's fascinating to me. Less likely than average to have flat feet. Less likely? Interesting. I've always thought I've had pretty flat feet. <laughs> likely a lot of freckles. <laughs> True. More likely to experience hair photo bleaching. What does that mean? I don't know. Like hair lightens easily? Maybe. I bet that's what more likely to lighten with sun exposure. Hair, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It always costs. This is so crazy. Um, likely straight or wavy hair. I mean, it is now. Straight or likely straight or wavy. Are those the two options? I don't know. <laughs> Less likely to have thick hair. That's accurate. Yeah. About a 50 50 chance of preferring vanilla or chocolate ice cream. Uh, I would agree with that, to be honest. I wouldn't ever go with plain vanilla ice cream over plain chocolate ice cream, but a lot of my favorite like ice cream combinations, like chocolate chip cookie dough mm -hmm. or whatever, that's like a vanilla ice cream yeah. base. So I don't disagree with that because I do go back and forth. I don't feel super passionate yeah. about either ice cream flavor. Mm -hmm. Um, misophonia, which is, says you're less likely to hate chewing sounds. I will be off the charts on that one. <laughs> only when it pertains to me. No, not only. But yours is less likely. Chewing noises, yes. Other noises drive me crazy. Is that specific to chewing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Chewing doesn't drive me crazy, but other noises, like she'll be smacking when she eats, drives me crazy. I don't do it like people do it. True, but it still drives me nuts. Clinging your spoon in your bowl yeah, also drives me nuts. Um, you're likely bitten more often than others by mosquitoes. Yeah. Not as much as that looks. Yeah. More likely to experience motion sickness. Mm -hmm. Accurate. Likely less baby hair when you were born. Yes, I was bald. Bald. What's a photic sneeze reflex? It says you don't have that. I don't sneeze multiple For times. For some people, bright sunlight kicks off a round of sneezing. Oh, no. Huh. Does that happen to you guys? Sunlight? Interesting. Um, Eating cold things sometimes. Yeah. No. Cold things that we cough. cough. Likely no red hair. That's accurate. Likely lighter skin. Mm -hmm. More likely to have stretch marks. That's interesting. True. <laughs> likely big toe longer. Yeah, that's, oh, yours is, oh yeah, big, big toe, toe longer, toe. yeah, which that, we get that from dad's side because mom's side, they, <laughs> roasts me out. They all have, the second toe is longer, <laughs> oh, I hate it so much, it really freaks me out. <laughs> it's those callus genes are really strong, thank god we didn't get that. Ethan got it, <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> um, likely at least a little unit brow. No! Oh, if I let mine grow out, I would. I have not done anything to my eyebrows, hand to God, in over a year. That is insane. Not even me. taking tweezers. Do I have a unibrow? No. Okay. Likely no widow's peak. No. I have one. Look. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I hate know. it. <laughs> this is interesting because, thing. like, I'm not necessarily learning things I don't know, but yeah. I guess it is kind of interesting to have this confirmation mm -hmm. based on my DNA. Yeah. Or I'm not a carrier for 44 different things. Mm -hmm. Like, what are some of the things? Things that you recognize? Cystic fibrosis. I don't think we have anybody in our family that has that. I don't even know what some of these are. What, what is it? Maple syrup urine disease. <laughs> it legitimately says that. Maple Rare genetic disorder. By poor growth and feeding, she has mental and physical processes and urine with a distinct sweet odor. That's a um, kind of positive name for something that um, would not be super fun to have. Mm -hmm. I was kind of into having something that was a maple syrup disease, only if it meant that the cure was to eat a lot of maple syrup. I don't think that was the cure. I know it wasn't the cure, but in my head when I heard maple syrup disease, that's where I went. Slightly increased risk for celiac disease. Hmm, that doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. I've never formally been tested, but I do feel that I, I don't think I necessarily have celiac, but I do think that I'm sensitive to gluten, as are a lot of people, because of how wheat is farmed in the United States. I am less sensitive to gluten in other countries. Age-related macular degeneration, variant detected, not likely at increased risk. Macular degeneration of what? Is that your eyes? Or oh, is that your, yeah, your eyes. 
this irreversible fission loss. You have one of the two genetic variants we tested. So we are not likely at increased risk. Wait, I know that I I have perfect vision and around all of my brain pituitary tumor stuff, I got my vision tested because the whole reason that they had to remove it is because it was potentially going to damage my optic nerve, but it hadn't. And my vision was great. You do not have the three genetic variants we tested. Okay. We do have a history of breast cancer in our not no, immediate one person, right? Right. I'm saying not necessarily in our immediate family, but um, you know, I don't think we have any family history of that particular kind of cancer, so I would be a little surprised. No, no. Do not have the two genetic variants we tested. So really, the only semi-significant health thing is predisposition for type 2 diabetes, mm -hmm. which is obvious based on family history. So, yeah, interesting. I think I'm a carrier for strep throat. So I've never had it in my life, and Ashley and Ethan used to get it all the time. Like, I was, like, it's not like I was, like, away from them. Like, I was there, and I've literally never had strep throat ever in my life. So, I have to be a carrier for it. There's no way I wouldn't have gotten it. No, yeah. For as much as I have it. Alright, guys. Do you guys want Shelby to do this next? <laughs> you paying for it? No. Put it on your Christmas list. Or birthday so list. long from now. <laughs> um, hope that you guys, uh, thought this was interesting. It's interesting to me, obviously, because it's personal to me, mm -hmm. but um, I'm excited to take my computer back and kind of dive into some of these reports mm -hmm. um, that Shelby's been going through and looking at. Um, my ancestry, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm yeah, I want to call Dad more, really quick because I want to tell him about that. I'm surprised I'm more um, uh, Western European mm -hmm. than Eastern because I would have thought the opposite. Mm -hmm. But... Okay, well, right. stay tuned for um, Shelby's turn. <laughs> and we'll do the food one too. Yeah, I want to do that.